Hi there, once again welcome back to my channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how we can use the weekday function in Excel. Okay, so we're going to use the weekday function to be able to get the day of the week and then as well as the name of that particular day. Okay, so we're going to get this out of the date we have over here. So this column contains the date and we want to get the day of the week. So if I go ahead and I change this date from 2000 to 2001 and I hit enter, I should be able to know that this is the sixth day of the week and then it's what Saturday. Okay. And I actually define this so we know the week starts from Monday and end on Sunday. Okay. So this is actually going to be one. So Monday is going to be one and then Sunday is going to be what seven. So in that order, once we enter this Excel, we should be able to know that this is Monday. So let's see how best we can do this. So first, we're going to clear this. So I'll clear this figure and then we want to go ahead and then we should know what the day of the week. And we need to use the words, the week day function in Excel. So in order to do that, just type equal to. Then we use the function weekday. So we select weekday and we're going to select these dates. So we want to get it out of these dates. So when you select this function, just hit enter and it's going to give us one. Okay. So if I drag this down, it's basically going to tell me that this date, that's April 6, 2001, that day, particular day is what? The sixth day of the week. If I change this to somewhere, maybe. Okay, so this piece is supposed to be November and uh, my space is small. If I enlarge this, you should be able to see the content of it. So this is November 6, 2001. So that's the day is going to be what? The third day of the week. But we want to also go ahead and then get the name of that particular day. Okay, we want to know the day, the name. Whether it's Monday or what? It's Tuesday all the way. So we're going to use the index. We have, we're going to use the index function to achieve that. So I've defined the figures. So let me clear this as well. So I just want to define a simple figure. Let me just type Monday. So if I type Monday and then I drag this down up to Saturday, so I'm going to get Monday all the way up to Saturday. Okay. I need to get Sunday as well. So let's add Sunday to this. Okay. So we have from Monday to Sunday. So Monday is one and then Saturday is what? A Sunday is what? Seventh. So in order to do that, we're going to use the index function. So just type over right here. It's called two index. And we need to drag this because this is the figures we're going to use. But we first need to what lock this or freeze this particular column because this is going to be static. We don't want this to change. So you need to press F4 on your keyboard. So when you press F4, you're going to add these dollar signs which will freeze the column and go ahead and bring comma. And then we need to now select the D column. So select that column and then close this. So when you close, you can see once I hit enter, it's going to give me one Monday. So that's the first day of the week is Monday. If I drag this down, it's going to go out, give me update the rest. So if I should change this, this April 7, 2002. If I should change this to 2024, it's going to say this is Monday. So that particular day of the week is going to be first day of the week. That is Monday. And we can easily get the name as well. Remember to subscribe to share with you asset tips and tricks. So like, subscribe, and you can also do this. So with the dates, you can change the date to any format at all and it's going to work. So your date column, just select and then you can change any date format and it's still going to work. Okay. You can see I've changed my date to the short format. So when I go ahead and then I change any figure at all, I change this to. So if you change this figure at all to 2028, Whatever day you change, it's going to update it for you. So you can go ahead and then do modification to this. Let me change this to 1988. 
and you can see it give me what saturday if i change it to 1989 and say this day is going to be the seventh day of the week and it's going to be say sunday so basically this is how to use the weekday function we can use it to get a day of the week and also we've been able to use the index function to extract what the name of that particular day using excel remember to like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification till i come your way again bye bye